Hi, I'm Lance, and today we're at the Meridian Way Wind Farm near Concordia, Kansas. A wind farm is a place with a bunch of wind turbines, which are basically modern windmills. They generate electricity as the wind spins their blades. Kansas has a lot of wind, so you've probably seen turbines just like these when you've driven around the state. There are nearly 70 turbines at the Meridian Way Wind Farm. Meridian Way is one of three wind farms in Kansas owned by EDP Renewables, a global leader in the renewable energy industry. EDPR is the fourth largest renewable energy producer in the world. They have 58 wind farms and nine solar parks, which collect energy from the sun in North America alone. And they have farms in 26 other countries. Today, we're gonna learn about the job of a wind turbine technician who maintains and fixes these humongous structures. We're also gonna get to climb inside one of these bad boys. Let's go. We're here at the wind farm talking with Ethan, who's worked here at Meridian Way for over 11 years. Thanks for hanging out with us today, Ethan. So, could you start by telling us some advantages of wind energy? Sure, there are lots of advantages to wind energy, which is why it's such a fast-growing field. In the state of Kansas, 20 years ago, there weren't hardly any wind turbines. Now, there are over 3,500 wind turbines. That's enough wind turbines to generate power for 1.6 million homes and over 40% of all the electricity needs in the state of Kansas. Wow, I had no idea. That's so cool. So, how does wind energy compare to other kinds of energy? There are a lot of reasons why we're using more and more wind power. It costs less to produce. We can easily generate it in the United States. It's sustainable, we'll never run out of wind. Wind turbines can be put on existing farms and ranches so they don't use a lot of land. Plus, farmers and ranchers make extra money by renting their land to energy companies. And wind energy has a very low impact on the environment. You don't have to use any water or burn anything so they don't create any pollution. There are a lot of reasons wind energy makes sense especially in Kansas, right? I mean, it's always windy here. Absolutely. It only takes six to eight miles an hour to start producing wind energy. And in the state of Kansas, that's nearly all the time, especially two to 300 feet in the air. So what does a wind turbine tech do exactly? The wind turbine technicians take care of the repair and maintenance of the wind turbines. It's my job to help oversee that work and make sure we're following our safety and environmental standards. We do that to make sure we're not harming the environment or anything around the wind farm. I also help oversee the electrical grid substation where our power is connected to the nationwide supply of power. We make so much wind energy we can share it with other states surrounding Kansas. We do a lot of different types of work in this field. We work on the electrical and mechanical parts. We also work with the turbine software and computers. And we have to understand a lot about electrical power and how it moves. Wow, that's a lot. So could you take me up inside one of these and show me how they work? Yes, but first, are you scared of heights? Because if you are, that's gonna be a problem. I think I'll be fine. Let's go. Ethan took me to Cloud County Community College in Concordia, where we met Kit Thompson. Kit's the head of the Renewable Energy Department, and he teaches people who wanna be wind turbine techs. Ethan got his training at Cloud County right after he graduated from high school. Kit and Ethan showed me how to climb safely up inside the tower of a wind turbine. It was a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be. And man, that tower was really tall. So I'm trying to figure out what all these things do up here. Ethan showed me some of the computers and electronics that operate the turbine. There are four computers inside each turbine and they constantly monitor sensors on the outside. Those sensors measure things like wind speed, wind direction, and the air temperature. The sensors and computers tell the turbine how to adjust its blades to catch the most wind and produce maximum energy. Ethan explained to me that when the wind turns the turbine's blades, it turns a shaft inside the turbine. The shaft is connected to gears that cause a smaller shaft to drive the electrical generator. That electrical generator creates the power that will eventually get into people's homes and businesses. I'm super glad I got a chance to enjoy the view. It's crazy how far you can see from way up here. That was so cool. You guys definitely have me thinking about being a wind turbine tech someday. Glad you liked it. 
Renewable energy is a really fast-growing field, and we need young people like you to get excited about it. Most people start in this industry as a technician, and then they move up into other energy jobs as they get more experience. That's very true. Once you get your foot in the door in the wind industry, there's lots of opportunities to move up. Would you like to go see some more of what we do? For sure. Thanks for taking me up there, Kit. It was an amazing experience, and I'll never forget it. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of your tour. And don't forget to come see me when you're ready to enroll. All right, let's go. You want to see the rest of the wind farm? Heck yeah. Ethan gave me a tour of the wind farm and showed me more about what he does every day in his job. Then he took me to the substation where the energy produced here is collected before it leaves the wind farm. All right, you've sold me. This is a super cool job. What can I start doing now in high school to prepare? I would suggest taking as many STEM classes as you can. Science, technology, engineering, and math. Take some CTE courses like shop, electronics, or welding to get used to working with tools and your hands. And knowing some things about computer hardware and software will also help. I can do that. And then after high school, I'll have to find some kind of college program specifically for working on wind turbines? Absolutely, there are several wind energy certificate and associate degree programs available. One of the best places in the state of Kansas is Cloud County Community College to get this type of education. You can be qualified in as little as a year or two to work as a wind technician after graduating high school. All right, that sounds awesome. I could be working here in no time. Thanks so much to Kit and Ethan for showing me around and letting me see what they do up close. I'm definitely putting wind turbine technician on my future jobs list. Maybe I'll see you up on top of a turbine soon. Can't wait to see you up there. If you like what you saw in this video, be sure to visit HigherPaths.com for more videos and to explore other high demand careers. Until next time, this is Lance signing off for Cool Careers near Concordia, Kansas. Have a great day.